Hello and welcome to another episode of Miners of the Nexus. I'm Bardock Germs and I'm here with Rastrol. Hello. Tapion. Hey, hey. Den Gonzo. Hello there. And Frodo's foot. Hi. Hey, hey. What are you looking at, Den Gonzo? Why are you looking at the ground? I'm looking at the ground. Um, actually, looking safari, but. <laughs> Is that what you call your member? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, as you can see, we're here in like what, what appears to be a big chasm, 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 and I think some sort of Moses effect has happened here. This is what's called Moses, Mosesing, Mosesing. Mosesing. We're actually going to do an underwater build. We're going to do an underwater dome sort of glass. You'll see, you'll see when it's done. Um, I'd like to point out as well that th this isn't our next major build yet. Uh, we are still working on that, so bear with us. And yeah, we're going to try and do this in one episode, so let's see how that goes. So we've got the platform, uh, we're doing the, the first uh, layer, which is the platform, done. As you can see, it's circular from the top, and this is going to go up as a dome. So yeah, we'll start doing the filling in, and then we're going to do the, the dome upwards. So we've reached more than half of the dome already, and as it goes up, obviously, the dome gets smaller, so it should be quicker. I just want to show you roughly how we've been doing this, so you can laugh at our um, incompetence. Yeah, incompetence. So I've been floating about Rough. reading off the screen the picture I've got on the website we like to use called plot.co.uk, um, and the miners have been taking one corner of the dome, and following my very vague instructions one quarter because so, there's quarter, no corners. quarter sorry not corner quarter okay so let's let's show them how it's done okay so in top on on top of what we've already done we have a gap on each side and we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve is that correct yep okay so now we have two in wait what no, wait, 12? it's not, no, it's it's not ten. correct it's not hello okay. hello it's okay. not it's 10 1 not 2 12. 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. oh wait it helps if i actually um go it up go one next up one level yeah that's the first thing so it's 1 2 oh, 3 correct. 4 5 6 7 8 9 yeah 10 that's correct okay so now two in yeah two in two in yeah uh, a little minor tip here that uh, Frodo's foot came up with. If you actually do what you can see Tapion doing now, which is do this edge here and then do that edge there, then you can actually meet at the middle and realize if you've made any mistakes. So that always helps when making these domes. Domes are hellish. So especially if you're doing it in creative mode, in um, survival mode. Okay, so now there's one floating. Okay, and now three. One floating and two on top. Got it? Yep. Three. One floating and two on top. Now we have two going in. And that two going should, in. Yep, yeah, and that should meet but in the middle. Should go in? Yep, that should meet in the middle. Yep. Okay, so we've got another layer Whoa, done. I've done something wrong. That was almost a perfect um, take there, so we ma it makes us look good. There you no, that's not That's not. Uh, right. At least in my corner, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> at least, at least in, in my corner. That doesn't look right. I, I, mm. This one This one isn't. Uh -oh. there. That's it. Uh. Yeah, perfect. So that was a pretty... No, the best one we've done so far. Well, uh, Dengonzo hasn't. <laughs> we've, we've, left the, we've left the orc behind. The orc has stayed behind. So give the orc a hand. There's one diagonal there. Oh no, that's <laughs> not what you meant. No, I mean help help him out. Help okay. a brother. Oh, what's what's happened over here? He's. he's I think I no. lost. I lost. Oh my him. god, what's happened here? He's cockled it up. There's there's two. There's one. This is a cock and tubal special here. There's two. There's one. There's three. And there's two. One, two, three, and there's two. There's one. There's <laughs> three. Two, three. Okay, oh. everybody's pitching in here, helping the orc out. There we go. And then there's two. That's it. There we go. So that was 
still better than our other takes so <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine what we were doing before that yeah so we're gonna carry on and finish off the dome and we'll get back to you then that is the dome complete and as you can see Tapion is in there it looks like one of those snow globe things shake 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 Tapion shake Okay, Mr. Snow Globe to be on there. And now we're adding this rim of iron blocks. Just to finish it off. And what do you guys think if we also do a rim going all the way up this way like this? Is that going to make it look too chunky? Yeah. We don't want to make it too... Well, this is for buoyancy. That's why I'm using iron here. Because it's floating the mid air and it's full of air, so it would float to the surface. So that was, that's why we are creating this point. So yeah, that would be okay. I think that looks good. It makes it look a bit futuristic -y, I think. Futuristic. -y. Okay, so we're gonna finish this off and we shall get back to you when it's done. There we have the top viewing platform that will be sticking out of the top of the of the dome. We have Frodo's foot working on straight from the top of my dome. Working on some beautification, I think. So oh, this shoot, left. this shaft would lead you up into the dome, and this would be floating above the sea level. Um, yeah, we're going to start on the other dome now. There's going to be three domes in total: one big one and two smaller ones. So we're just going to start on this smaller dome. The other one was 40 diameter. This one is 20 diameter. So half the size. Half. Half. Let's get on with it, and we should get back to you when it's done. And the dome... City. Dome city is complete. Well, the prototype. The prototype. This is, this is like a um, scientific research area. And we have... Uh, we'll show you inside now once we flood it. Which, fingers crossed, goes okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to flood it up now, and we'll see how. And I'll show you inside once it's flooded, because it's probably going to look epicer, per, epicer, epicer, -er. epicer, -er. epicer, -er. epicer -er once it's flooded. So yeah, okay, I'll see you back in 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 a second. Okay, so we flooded it on MC Edit, and now I've loaded it up into my single player world. Um, just because onto the server it's going to take too long and we want to show you the finished product. Still need to retouch some areas here. As you can see, there's some areas that haven't flooded properly. But I'm going to give you the tour. Okay, so this is the entrance, the land entrance here. This is where we'd go into the base. Let's say that this base was done in a post-apocalyptic um, scenario. There obviously wouldn't be this entrance here. You'd have to go in via boat or whatever. But seeing as this isn't post-apocalyptic, um, we go in through this route. As you can see here, this is a tube. Some nice views around here. Okay, so this is the first room as we enter. This is the main main hub, we could say, where the scientists gather. There's some desks here with um, monitors. These are Rastral patented monitors. Am I right, Rastro? Yep, that's correct. And this is where we'd have... This is just a normal table. This is where maybe they can dissect octopus or, or whatever. Octopi. These are more desks here. This is a... There used to be octopus here just a second ago. Don't know where they've gone. So this is a tank, a research tank here. Um, some more monitors here, more computers. This is the living dome. Done by Tapion. Just beds and some um, storage areas right next to it. It's nothing special. It's just a temporary living area. Yep. And I like the nice Christmassy um, carpets you got going on here. Yeah, gotta gotta keep it cheery all year round. Okay, this over here, this side here is the mess. So you go go in through here, <coughs> and we've got the kitchens here. And the, there's a dining table, a long dining table for the scientist folk. And through here is another of Tapion's rooms, that which he did. This is the mine shaft beta, or beta, depending where you come from. 
And yeah, care to explain this bit? Um, uh, let me remember what was in there. Oh yeah, uh, that's you know those big ass drilling things, um, like the stuff that you used to do the channel tunnel and whatnot. Right. Well, that's one of them big bad boys. And in the crates, you have just the head, uh, the bits for the drill bits, and I can't remember what else I put in there. Yeah, yeah these random are the crap. Bits. Um, also, when I MC edited, it seems that part of this room got flooded. So I'm just fixing that up. Don't want any water in these mines. It's meant to be clear of water. So there you have it. That's the mining room. What These these are multi-purpose uh, you know, tubes. They can be connected to the walls. They can be connected to other domes. So if you guys want to make your own um, dome... Dome, um, what you call it? Research lab thing. You can just put domes wherever you want. You can make four of them, five of them, eight of them. Make it like an octopus. You know, all the dealio. This over here leads to the decompressor and medibay. This was done by Rastral and Den Gonzo. Den Gonzo has logged out, so I let the, um, Den Rastral to do the tour here. So first, I'm going up to the top room. What do we have here, Rastral? It's pretty much just a medi bay where the medic would uh, operate or would take care of the, his or her patients. Just some beds, some computer screens and, and all that. Then you have, if you notice on the floor, you have some trapdoors. Yeah, I'm inside. Well, that takes you to the, forgot how I called it. Healing pod. Yeah, the healing pod. So basically a healing pod full of water with nutrients and all that kind of stuff. You, when you're injured, you get in there and you're back to spiffing shape in no time. Yeah, I'm going to put a villager inside so we can get the full effect. Um, what the hell is spiffing shape? It's yeah, you know, tip-top shape. Okay. Go, go in. Oh, he doesn't. He's resisting. He's resisting. Res <laughs> resisting arrest. <laughs> yeah, in so he's floating about up there. He's gone out. He doesn't want to be cured. Tough, don't get cured then of your ugliness. Where is he? Okay, I'm gonna have to... There we go. I think it's probably drowning them. Not quick enough. Oh, there! <laughs> he's outside the... <laughs> okay, he's in spiffing good shape, alright? He's doing some weird jig. Oh, the other one's getting cured. Those noises are actually curing noises. Um... Anyway, look away. Um, so we have a a desk here with a computer, and this is a decompression chamber that then Gonzo did. It's what it says in the tin. Lie here and decompress. What is decompressing, Rustro? Decompressing is the art of being uncompressed. <laughs> it's a beautiful art. And we um, just yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, Dengonzo did that, so I'm not really sure about the technical term. But when you are in the water for a long time and you can get the the bows, is that bends, what The bends. The bends. <laughs> the Mercedes well, bends. You know, you go there and you get decompressed. Yeah. Yeah. It it just repressurizes you to the atmosphere pressure. Yeah. To the whatever pressure you are. If you go to outer space or you go underwater, there's different pressures. Well, I'm up here now, and I didn't really... I don't think the other miners saw this when I built it, but this is where the receptionist would sit. And if you have a meeting with the head scientist, this would be his desk here. I also made um, another entrance here, and it, this leads to the officers or the important scientists, um, you know, eating table. And just a library up here. So this is pretty safe, um, simple stuff. We just wanted a balcony area so, you know, it would change it up a bit and you could look down onto the, the other working scientists so you can have the boss here looking down. The boss. And then um, this over here would lead to the biodome, which is the top floor over there. If you, if you saw it on the outside, it's the part of the dome which is outside the water, as you can see. So here is where, you know, you're fed up of being underwater, you want to have some fresh air, some sunlight. You just come up here. It's raining right now, so not mu not much sunlight you're going to be getting. And yeah, there's a stairway here. Just when the 
the apocalypse is over. You can get out through here, get on a boat and go back to safety. That's the entrance over there. As you can see, the tubes. Looks pretty nice from out here. I'll show you another aerial view during the day. Looks pretty nice. Yeah, one last thing, really. Um, I have to go all the way back down there. Yeah, so this is a tube that leads you down into the water. So you'd put your scuba suit on. You'd go down here. There's a cage here for shark um, baiting or whatever you do. And everything is pretty dark here, so you can't see. There's some ruins. You must have seen them when we were doing the actual building. So, yeah, just swim around down here get into the submarine or whatever so yeah that's pretty much it that is the build hope you liked it i i kind of like it this is i'd say one of my favorite looking builds overall pretty interesting oh it's snowing up here so yeah hope you liked it please subscribe like and we shall see you again next time bye 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 Yes, hello? Hello? I'm here already, guys. Hello?